In this video, we're going to be sketching y equals than of x. So, first thing we're going to do is if we take another look at shine. Okay, so that was that one. So that's y equals shine of x. And then we've got cosh. Okay, we're going to have those uh, to consider as we go because we know that than is shine over cosh. And we can write that as e to the x plus, oh sorry, take away rather, e to the minus x over 2 over e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. Now, halves cancel. So we can write that as e to the x take away e to the minus x over e to the x plus e to the minus x. So how is that going to help us? Well, first things first. Um, if we consider what's happening as x well, let's, have, let's think about what's happening when x is 0 first. When x is 0, um, we are going to have shine, which is 0, over 1. So that means we're going through the origin. Okay? That's the first thing. Now, the next thing is that as x increases we can see that shine of x gets larger and larger and larger, and cosh of x gets larger and larger and larger. So actually what we've got is something that is tending to infinity on the top and tending to infinity on the bottom. Okay, So that's quite difficult to consider as to what is actually going on there. So would there be a better way of visualising what's going on here? Well, if I multiplied top and bottom of this fraction by e to the x, what I would get is e to the 2x take away 1 over e to the 2x plus 1, multiplying numerator denominator by e to the x. So as x gets larger and larger and larger and larger, you can see that e to the 2x's, they will both tend to infinity. The numerator and denominator will get larger and larger and larger, and the minus 1 and the plus 1 will become negligible. Now, the numerator will always be smaller than the denominator. So what's going to happen is that this is going to tend to 1, but never quite reach it. So we've got a horizontal asymptote, at y is equal to 1. Now, as x... So that what that's telling us, then, is that the curve is tending towards that line. Now, as x gets larger in the negative direction, what's happening then? Well... Um, what would be the easiest way of visualising that? Well, as x is going in that direction, these two values are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and tend towards zero. And we're going to get closer and closer and closer to minus 1 over 1, which is negative 1. So there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals minus 1. So the curve looks like this. And so this is what y equals than of x must look like. And we can look at, as x goes in that direction here, because we've got shine over cosine, oh, sorry, shine over cosh, where we've got uh, this curve tending towards negative infinity, and we've got this one positive infinity. So we know that it's going to be a negative value. Um, but because you're dealing with infinity over infinity, you've got to look at it a little bit more closely and consider what's happening. Okay? But this is our sketch of y equals than of x.